You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the next set in the Quick Mix Baker line. I will show you what I did last time, the cookie set. It was quite unique, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. Probably the same situation. There was a mix in here that was way too big to put in the little bowl they give you. And then the cookies came out. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll put a link in the description. Go check that out. All right. The Quick Mix Baker Brownie Mix Set. Just add water. It is from Fun Stop Limited in Hong Kong, number 6003. It says the mix ingredients made in the USA under FDA guidelines. Now, it is an older set. This is not new, so don't go looking for it. Originally $3.99. 50% off. This one was $3.99. So they were all $3.99, ages three and up. Now there were a bunch of sets at the time. I'm showing you these three. Did the, did the cookie, doing the brownie, and the next will be the cake. And they go along with the larger sets. And this says it makes three brownies, refills available. So this is actually not a refill set. It's a uh, like an individual brownie mix set, but there's a larger cake a uh, cookie set, larger cake sets, the mix and bake set, which might have included two or three items, and then the quick mix oven, which is probably just a pretend oven that would probably make a dinging sound. I don't know. I would like to find that someday. And then uh, that's really it. That's all I can show you with the packaging. Well, let me cut this around the outside and I'll get it all out of the package. All right, here we go. Now the other one... Same bowl. I'm not going to use the bowl. I for sure will do something different. This one has a little spatula. The other one had a little spoon. Same little tray. This is a larger cutter. Do you think they want me to make like a brownie and cut it into a shape? And then here is the box and here is the instructions. But let me get this mix packet out. Okay, so there's one packet in there. Makes up to five brownies. I thought it said it made up to three brownies, Sonny. It says it makes three brownies. Hmm. Five or three. What is it? And then here is the back of the box. Okay, so let's see if the directions are the same. Makes up to five cakes. Yeah, I noticed that on the last one. I think there's some issues with their wording. Uh, empty entire contents of packet in the mixing bowl. This does not fit into the bowl. So I'm going to keep that just like that. And then add two tablespoons of water while stirring. When completely blended, choose mold. Spoon mix into mold. Wait until it solidifies. Push gently out of mold. Decorate. And those are the ingredients. Sugar, cocoa flour, whole egg powder, gelatin, guar gum, and vanillin. Vanillin. Net weight, 3.3 ounces. All right, well, I think that's pretty much the same. When completely blended, choose mold. Place mold on vinyl sheet. Spoon and mix. Press with plunger while lifting mold up. Yeah, there is some confusion with them and their different sets, but well, let's do this. Let's grab some water, let's mix it up, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Got a little bowl of water there. I need two tablespoons. So empty entire contents of packet into mixing bowl. Now, remember the cookies, they show chocolate chip on the front, and it looked like possibly the wrong mix. I don't know. Something didn't seem right. This seems right. Let's give it the old, or I'll do it from here, the old sniff test. Hmm. Surprisingly, it does not have any tainted odors in there, which is a good thing. Okay. Gradually add... Two tablespoons of water while stirring. Oh, gradually. Okay, let's put that there. Let's get this here. Let's do this. Gradually add while stirring. Okay. I didn't bring any other molds or... I'm not sure what, what good gradually adding is, but... That's a lot of mix for that tiny bowl. Okay, let's get in here now. Gradually added, but difficult to do when you have one hand. Now I can get in here. My guess is this is not going to go into a mold, but we'll see. 
I don't know. Actually, it might. It looks very much like the chocolate chip cookie. I didn't bring in any other molds. I figure at this point, I don't know. I don't know what I figured. I haven't figured anything. You know, sometimes you just start the video and then you think about it later. Hmm, should have done that, should have done this, should have done that. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And you just got to say, oh, well, I did what I did, and that's what I did. Okay, so it has, it's got the same consistency as that cookie. It's hard to say. It's kind of like a powdery something or other. And then when completely blended, choose mold, spoon mix, wait until it solidifies. Okay, so I'm waiting for solidify. Now those other ones, I didn't show you. I should have probably saved them. Well, maybe I can grab them. They turned out pretty rock hard after a day or two solidifying. Okay, I think that's good. Let's get this into a shape. I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought, let me take a little heart shape. I'm going to see if I could press it in there and scoop it out. Not all of it, just enough to fill this and make a heart shape brown. See, it's kind of got like a, hmm, what's the consistency you would say this is? Well, it's not sticking. That's a good sign. I'm hoping I could just plop out my brownie, let it solidify. Oh, yeah, look at the cookies off to the side. Okay, that's my heart shape. Let's see if I can plop it out. Oh, there you go. And then let's see if I can cut this shape out. Oh, see? So they're still somewhat mushy and moist. A couple of them were much harder. This is all I had nearby. Okay, so let's plop this out. I don't know, what do you think? Give it 10 minutes? I'll give it 10 minutes. And I will come back. Okay, here you go, Mr. Elephant. Ooh, I got an elephant shape. Let's get rid of this. And this, I don't think it's going to come off the tray easy. I didn't bring a spatula. Let's see. I mean, I have a spatula, but, you know, what's that other thing called? The flat spatula. Okay. All right. Let me wash up. Let this sit a little bit. Here, I'll take the remnants out, though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab it with my finger so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So it's very grainy. And, you know, as mixes get old, they may change what they're supposed to do. We've experienced that, so we understand that. But this is what we have. Let me give you a quick zoom in to what I got. Hmm. Pretty nice heart shape, huh? All right, I'll be back after it sits a little bit. All right, so I'm admiring my brownie, realizing I did have a little spatula nearby. I could have used that to spatula my little creature, elephant, whatever you'd call that. So I'm admiring my brownies, thinking to myself, wow, look at that. Nice nut-filled chocolate brownies with a crispy crust right out of the oven. Hmm. Something's not right here. It does definitely does not look like the box at all. But we expect that and we understand that. And then here is the ball that I just rolled up. So it has some consistency to it. I guess it's still, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's like Play-Doh, like edible Play-Doh now, I guess. I don't know what else you would call it. Let me zoom out just a little bit. I was playing with it here like this, look. But now I could pick this up. It's a little more solid. So let me just take a little niblet of that. It has a slight uh, off taste, but overall it tastes like chocolate. Does it look like that? What do you think? My cookies did not look like that. So I think the packaging definitely uh, stretched your imagination a little bit for what you get. So there you go. It is the Quick Mix Baker 
brownie mix. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next one is the cake. Where's the cake? Let me grab the cake. My guess is that it's not going to look like that. Uh, and I don't even know if it has frosting. It's probably just the cake part. I don't know. We'll see. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.